Good morning. This is Sharon from the House of Prayer. We're going to have prayer this morning. Yay. First time we've been able to have that in a few months. Um, I know that we haven't had prayer because of my condition. I've been so sick and I haven't even put up videos, but that's changing. Um, a lot of things are changing with me, and starting next Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm going to have all-day testing done to see if we can figure out what's going on. And then late on Wednesday, they're going to put a 30-day halter monitor on me, so I know I will not be putting out videos on those two days because of all that entails and Wednesday I have to be there at seven o'clock in the morning to have testing done but anyway we're on the road to recovery and finding out what's going on and I'm glad to find out what's going on um I thought I was doing okay yesterday I got the video up and then after that I got really sick again and Harold had gone golfing and I know never to call him when he's on the golf course he has to pay attention to the phone but evidently God had told him that something was going on at home so he tried to call me four different times and I didn't know it and he even text me and I didn't answer it so he turned in his golf cart and after the ninth hole he came home in the meantime I had finally answered his text I knew not to call him because I thought he would still be out there playing so anyway I was unable to answer the phone of course like I said I didn't know it was even ringing and by the time he got home, I was almost ready to call 911 because I was by myself. But turned out God was taking care of me. And so I rested the rest of the day. Um, during this time that I've been not putting up videos somehow God has gotten the channel to grow because we have hit 250 subscribers that's the most that we've ever had I think I had hit 249 at one time and it quickly started going back downhill so I just praise the Lord for that hallelujah hallelujah and they don't tell me who the new people are, and they don't tell me who leaves. I just see the numbers go up and down. So I want to um, welcome the people who have signed up and subscribed to the channel and listened to the channel. You are so welcome, and you are so loved, and this is a family on this channel that loves each other so much. Um... So I have some prayer requests, and the first one is from Sister Sandra. She has a co-worker named Gladys, and she has pneumonia and is in the hospital. And she's not sure if it's from that terrible strand that broke out last year to make us all be locked down. But... We're going to pray that it's not and that the pneumonia is going to be taken care of. Um, Sandra would like us to pray for her healing and her strength. And I would like to pray for baby bear, my baby bear, Tamara, who has been asking for prayer about her dad. And praise the Lord, she has gotten her dad out of a bad situation 
and has moved him to another location. And I just feel like in my spirit that we need to continue to pray for Janet. You know, that she lost her dad um, several months ago before I got sick and stopped most of my communication. And I haven't really talked to her since her dad died. But I haven't seen her show up or make a comment since I've been putting videos back up. But I just feel like we need to talk and pray about Janet. And then last month, my cousin's wife lost her mother. And they notified me to come down for the funeral, but I was just so weak and I could not go. But I've kept in contact with them. And it's very hard when we lose a parent. And she was very close to her mother. And then Harold's mother died about two months ago and his father is really bad off and he is in a, a living facility and his daughters, Harold's sisters, are taking care of him or sometimes they don't even get to see him because they were not allowing visitors in there but they were taking care of that situation. And his uncle, who has been a mentor to Harold in the army, has Alzheimer's and is in a living facility in Florida. And during this time, I've gotten to meet two of Harold's sisters the daughters of, of the uncle that he loves so much. And they are such sweet, sweet women. And one of them is eight years younger than us because, you know, Harold's five days older than me. And then the other one is younger than her. So there's only two girls. So we talk quite a bit on Facebook on the messenger part and I've loved 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 getting to know them and knowing more about Harold's past he didn't really know them as they were growing up because they didn't live in the same state and they lived over in Germany a lot and moved around because Harold's uncle was a general in the military, so he moved around a lot, but was stationed overseas most of that time. Uh, we're talking about meeting in person, but I don't know how we're going to do that with the way I am unless the Lord helps me. And then I'm thinking about Sheila Marie a lot. I just have time to sit here and think a lot. Sheila Marie is the sweet sister that's a truck driver and has been living in a motel because of all of um, the things going on. You know, the rioting that has been going on. So she didn't want to be involved in all of that. And her company that she works for was gonna be taking the jabs to different locations. That's all I'm gonna say. So she doesn't want to take it. Praise the Lord for that. Um, and then, for the last person that I want us to pray about is the one that I call my earth angel. She's constantly writing to me. She, she, we have talked on the phone in the past, 
but mostly we communicate through text. But she feels like she needs to quit her job today. So whatever she needs to do for her mental health, I'm all for. I know that she's been praying about it a lot, a lot, a lot. And she is such a sweet woman and so loving. And she's taught me so much. And she, she's been praying for me and sending me um, things to read. And I just love her so much. Just as I love all of you. And before we pray, I just want to make a comment about how the Bible talks about the Nephilims and how they're coming back. Well, the other day I happened upon a video because I watched a lot of YouTube trying to learn what's going on. And there's three people talking. And they were talking about the space program, the time wars, the clones, the super soldiers, the starships, quantum weapons, and a lot more. And I'm going to leave the link to this site in the box for you in case you want to see it. Um, I've had my head in the sand for so long not wanting to hear anything. And this, I don't know, it just I had so many emotions going through me as I was listening to this video. But whether I want to believe it or not, the Bible does refer to it. And Let's just say it woke me up a little. I'm not saying this is yes, this is no. I'm saying it's a possibility. But we have to take everything we hear, everything we see to God in prayer. And just because we've lived in a cocoon world doesn't mean things haven't been happening. You know, I finally woke up to reality and I love, love, love the Bush family. And now just the thought of them makes me absolutely sick with disgust knowing what they have done. And I hear a lot about President Kennedy and that who was really behind his killing. So, we need to wake up to some things, but in a, your own time. But I'm just gonna leave the link there and you don't have to watch it. So, let's pray for all of these precious people Father, we come to you asking you, first of all, to please forgive, forgive, forgive us of our sins. We can't come to you unless we are living the clean life for you. Lord, we know how you've been taking care of us, but we need prayer. We need prayer from each other. We need to come together as a group. So even though I'm alone in this room right now, Lord, other people are going to be joining in on this prayer. Um, I forgot Gladys, Gladys is in the hospital, Lord, with pneumonia. 
We don't know exactly where that pneumonia came from, but Lord, we know that your holy, perfect hand can just reach down and take away all the disease that she has in her body. Make the pneumonia just go away. You can strengthen her, Lord, and we're praying for the strength for Gladys. Strengthen her mind, strengthen her body. Just love on her, Lord. Just love on her. Let her know that you are there for her. We praise you, Lord. We praise you so much for taking care of your children. Lord, we pray for Tamara's father. Lord, we know the problems that he's had. We're not going to talk about that here, but you know all of it. So I've said it out loud. Lord, take care of him, strengthen him, help to merit, continue to care for her father. Lord, we just praise you for it. Lord, the ones that have lost their loved ones, like Janet, like Harold, my cousin's wife, Libby, it's hard losing parents and knowing that they're almost ready to lose a second parent, like Harold and his uncle that he loves so much. Help them get through this process, Lord. Love on them even more. And give us the words to say to them. And Janet, and then she lost her father, she lost her sister not that long ago. She's had it hard. And we ask you to strengthen her in this time. Lord, I'm asking for your help for our sister Sheila Marie and the situation that she's in because of what happened last year and what her employer wanted her to do. And she had to step back. Lord, help her to find another job. And my sweet earthly angel, who's losing her job today. Lord, you know that she's been going through a very hard time and has been battling this ever since I met her. She's not able to pray for herself right now about it. It's getting so bad, Lord, that her mental issue is that she's having mental issues because of it. And you know all about that. Help her, Lord. Let us pray for her where she can't pray for herself right now. She prayed for me when I couldn't pray for myself at the time. Well, this is what this family is all about, is stepping in and praying for other people who find themselves unable to pray for themselves. That we have a family full of prayer warriors that will pray for each other in this time of need. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, Father. You have brought an awesome, awesome family together to pray for one another. And I know the ones that have been praying so hard for me. And that's why. I've been able to get up 
and get moving again and start putting out these videos for them. And Lord, thank you. Thank you, thank you for leading me to the material that they need to hear. I've heard that a few times this week. But usually hear it a lot when I was doing it regularly before getting sick. Praise you. We just praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I just want to meditate in you. Just get lost in you. We need you in our lives so much. So much, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Amen, guys. I'll talk to you later.